Hello folks, I'm Charles Daring. Appreciate you watching. Uh, I wanted to get into what works and what does not work, whether it's a finished piece or doing a custom pattern for somebody. And I'm referring to scroll sawing. Now, as you can see in these photographs, they're, they're pretty clearly focused, which is one of the ideal things. But the difference between a, a digital file and a physical photo scanned in is this. And as you can see, although it appeared clear when it was zoomed out, this is actual size. And uh, it can be done, but it would look very basic because you have no definitive lines to work from. And if you've looked at videos from me in the past, I do mine on paper. But I think even with a uh, computer manipulation of a photograph like this, uh, it's just the, the dangers of using a a physical photograph now there are going to be times where people have passed on and all you have is a Polaroid or a you know a physical photo of them whatever and that's just the the downside but uh, you work with what you can but I'm big on getting people good results so that's why I wanted to bring that up uh, there again as as a general photo it looks pretty darn clear but the person sent me a physical photo and this is the first time I'd worked from a physical photo that wasn't yeah, it's just the first time I've worked from a physical photo, so that's the drawback. And another thing to take in mind, and this person also wanted the background in it. Now, another thing to take in mind is if you were doing just the family, that would be easier to do than including the background, obviously for detail reasons, but also because the more of a picture that is taken up by one subject like let's say we just had the family here that would be closer up uh, in the viewers eye and I guess if I'm gonna crop it it would look something like this uh, now doing whole families like this can be a little difficult um, obviously the more subjects in there if you're wanting to get to the the detail in it would have to be a relatively large uh, finished piece or pattern now, for the sake of, well, let me move on to another one and I'll show you. that That's the drawback of using a physical photograph. So, nine times out of ten when somebody uses a digital photograph, um, it usually comes quite large. This is only one-eighth the size of the actual photo. This is actual size. Now, as you can see, it's clear and zooming in very far. It's still, for the most part, clearer than the other photograph we just looked at. And that's something to look at. Uh, if you're whether you come to me for converting a photo into a scroll saw pattern or getting a finished piece, these are the things I kind of need. Now, this scene in general would be difficult to do because they're all so far back, but. Uh, it is workable. It would just mean I'd have to do a larger piece if we're want because I'm big on making it look like the people and that's hard to do with their far back detail wise. I mean, but zooming in on each one of them, you'll see that each one of them is is clear and easy to be worked from. So that's the advantage of a digital photograph. Now, if we're doing an individual people, uh, and this is probably more so aimed at people that are looking for custom portraits, but if we were doing individual pictures of each one of these people, I generally do neck and shoulders or head and shoulders <laughs> uh, because it's just close up and it, if a subject takes up the whole picture, you get more detail in it. But if a subject is only part of a, a bigger picture, then it's obviously going to be less detail. It just means you have to cut larger in order to get that detail in. This is not impossible to do, but it would be difficult. So that's an example of that. Now, I am not a professional photographer, maybe not even a professional artist, but uh, I'm going to give you all some pointers as to what I look for when it comes to, uh, I'm, I want to use the word artistic, but you'll see if you wanted to scroll this out, this is a, a very, in my opinion, it's a very good layout for a photograph, but if you're wanting to make a scroll sawing of it, it would have to be huge. And I say that because that's if we wanted the subjects to look 
like the subject, who they are, rather than just a generic married couple or engaged, whatever the case may be. Uh, now, this could have even been cropped smaller, but uh, let's say this customer wanted, you know, part of the background, so that's why that's been added, and it's been a little bit off to the side to add kind of an artistic flair to it and to bring attention to the background. But uh, you can also do something, let's say you just wanted to focus in on their kiss. I could probably get a little more of that hand in there. If you wanted to just focus in on their kiss, you'd have that, and that would more likely make the subjects of the picture look more like them. And, cause, because if you try to do this whole thing, unless their picture's huge, then it's going to... It's it's not gonna look it's not gonna be the spitting image of these people because of the fact that they're so far away in the general thing. But there again, if you do a larger thing, you can more so do it. Uh, and I guess you could call it the focal point. Is this was, this would be an example of that? You could even get closer. I just I try to look for things like if the hands are involved, which they are in here. I try to leave that in the picture. Uh, I showed more than that for the sake of what they're wearing, so you can tell they're at a wedding. So, you know, that would be something to look at. So that would be an example of that. Now, this one here works, but this is what this is called headroom. You know, that it has its artistic purposes, but uh, the premise of this photo is, or the main focal point is, a daughter or whatever the rel relation is hugging a father and uh, we know her arms are around him he's wearing a suit and she's smiling obviously and I cropped it into this now that still shows her with her arms around him and it still shows obviously their faces so that is another way to look at this now this is more talking about the artistic portion of it but uh, it's also to explain that if you're asking me to make a, a pattern from a photograph, nine times out of ten, I will ask you if I can crop it, and that would be why, because you still have the, the main points of interest in the, the photograph. And as mentioned before, you zoom in, it's still pretty darn clear. That's actual size on that one now. So that's, that's great. Now, this one here is the same case. I mean, although they're both dressed decently, uh... I still cropped it because we got the arms going around each other and boom you got their faces obviously a lot of her hair their hands being held and her arms around him and now if for some reason the tree was the focal point you could you could do it bigger like that but you know photography and scroll saw work can overlap and they can also you know conflict each other like this like because the background has a lot to do with uh, photography more so than scrolls are in my opinion but that's the advantage of cropping versus taking the photograph as is so if you can convince the customer to go with cropping or to be okay with it then that helps uh, I will try to do future videos with little pointers like this and if you have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comments uh, I hope I've been able to help people. This Again, this is aimed at people uh, who would either be ordering a, a finished piece from me, custom, or somebody asking me to do a photo converted into a scroll saw pattern. Again, I do mine on paper. And I have videos on woodenvisions.com teaching how I do that. There's six downloadable videos on there. But anyway, I, I hope this spelled it out for some people. If not, it, it's okay. Ask me, ask me anything you'd like to know, and I'll be more than happy to answer you. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, thumb up, and uh, share it around, and we'll do it. I appreciate you being here. Thank you.